Mm. And good evening to those of you on Facebook Live as we prepare to go live on the Thaddeus Matthews Show, a very another controversial show tonight, which will be similar to last night's show. In fact, it's a part two of last night's show. When love for the D is better than your love for your child. We're going to be speaking to about mothers. I'm running in at the last minute on this evening. I need another cord. But uh, get ready. It should be a very interesting show on this evening. I'm going to be calling Aja Brown, the daughter of the lady that we were in conversation about on last night. And that should be interesting as we get into this particular subject on tonight. Mm. Whew. I'm going to get out this outfit with Lisa's jacket in just a minute. I, I just ran in and putting stuff together. Mm. Got to get another cord. One, two, one, two. All right, all the way from New York City is in, the, in here. Dill, I got to get another cord tomorrow. I can't be without my power, power, my wonder working power. Bob. Bobby Gladney is in the house. Uh, Shante, good evening. Mm. Well, you don't have no problems with this one. You want to go to mine? What, your cord? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you yours charged up for the show? Yeah. All right, yeah, give me yours. Mm. But tonight's subject is when the latest, when the love for the D is better than your love for your child. Mm. I'm ready to go. Mm. <clears throat> John King Jula. Mm. I am going to be talking with Adria. I'm going to be calling Adria uh, about the conversation about her mama that we had on last night. Bolton, Mississippi. Okay. You got it? Good evening from Little Rock, Arkansas. Show. All right, we'll be going live in just a minute. This over. Put it in your All right, come up a little bit, Linda. Let's go. 
Let's do it. They don't get it right. Five, four, three, two. And just when you thought it was safe, it is absolutely, positively not. And good Tuesday evening to you. I am the one and only. I'm Thaddeus Matthews. So very glad to be here with you on this Tuesday night, hoping that your day has been simply marvelous, no matter what it is that you've been doing all day long. I, I just ran in to the studio. I've been busy all day. I still got my, my jacket on, on the TV on tonight, and got my, my T-shirt on to local guy here in the city brought this up to uh Memphis Knights to me last night uh I like my 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 t-shirt but I didn't even get a chance I just ran into the building didn't get a chance to take my cap and my jacket off I hope my jacket is not too bright and that it does not bother some people out in the audience Tonight, I will probably take the jacket off when I go to a uh, commercial break, but I just ran in. I have uh, Nicole Wright, is right, still a man, rock. Yes, still a nation, baby, still a nation, baby. Um, I just ran into the studio, and I have spent most of my day at my phone. The Metropolitan Interfaith Association. Did I get it right? I think I did. And I am very glad to say that we have Shaniquia. I just call her Nene. We've gotten her taken care of and that she's going into uh, their program for housing. Uh, probably tomorrow. They were ready to put on in today, but since I had spent that money for two nights at a hotel. They're going to do it tomorrow. She's going in and where they're putting her, hell, it's nicer than where I got her. I'm almost a little ashamed. But they're going to be putting her in there to get her emergency housing, then get her into a program that's going to, uh, isn't it Dale that will provide care for the children? While, and we're going to make sure that she gets a job. But we're so glad and spent a lot of time at MIFA and I want to say good evening to JB and John at MIFA. They are castle, I mean cowboy fans and um, he was kidding me about how lovely my jacket was saying that he didn't have one and it also here John it, it talks about the rings 74, 75, 78, 79, 05, and 08 when the Steelers got the rings. Uh, and how many rings do the Cowboys have? Apparently not enough. But so much for... <laughs> <clears throat> for all of that. Thank you so very much for being here. I'm going to take my jacket off in just a minute. Uh, I just like rubbing in the Cowboys fan. Uh, Y'all like this? I feel like Superman opening up and you see the S on my chest. Hey, Taj. Happy birthday to you, baby. That, that's what super is. F Okay, I, I, I'm going to leave y'all alone. Okay. I'm going to 
I'm going to get on off uh, into the show. It, it, if my jacket is bothering you, take what, Dale. Bring me that, my, my little vest. So I'm going to take all this. Or should I wait till I go to the commercial break? I'll wait till I go to the commercial break. I'm going to let them see what a real uh, jacket looks like, and then I'll take it off. Because uh, I know I got some haters out there right now. I already, as if I didn't have enough haters. I know uh, some of my haters are upset right now. But let me let me let me get into really what I want to deal with on tonight. Mm. Um, three one five four two four zero. When your ass get a damn TV show. Then you can tell me about my background. It's got too many colors in it. But I don't come to Burger King and tell you how much lettuce to put on the Big Mac, how much salt to put on it. I don't tell you how much salt to put on the fries. So don't tell a professional who is successful in what I do how to do what I do. Okay? Uh, nah. Thank you. I, I love it. Ronnie says she like it too. So thank you, Ronnie. Taj, happy belated birthday to you. Uh, happy 44th birthday to you. I think she said she turned 44 over the weekend. All right. Still find this wine, though, baby. All right. Tonight, I want to kind of pick up from where I took off last night. I am kind of Dale, pretty much, I am kind of hot in this big old pretty jacket. Let me get comfortable before I get into the show. Dale, bring me uh, my vest over there. I'm going to just put a vest on, take all this. Uh, Alan Taylor, don't worry about the poop plate in 08. Let me just put my Put me a, my vest on. Man. We can go on with the show. All right, now. Now, I'll even take the cap off. I'm ready to go to work now. Mm. All right, we, we, we're ready to go to work now. I want to take. I want to pick up from where we left off last night. Last night, I, I, I spoke on a lady by the name of Testalonia Brown, who, by the way, for some reason, didn't go to work. I'm not really. Taj concerned about talking about that just yet. I, I don't have enough information to be talking about Billy Turner. Maybe I'll talk about him tomorrow night. That's not my interest. That's not what I had planned for the show tonight. We'll talk about that uh, perhaps on tomorrow night when I dig in and I find some more information because I got some questions. Um, and I, it only dropped this evening, and I haven't had time to really review it. I, I've seen what is on the news. The, the guy that they've arrested for the murder of Lorenzen Wright. But I got some questions. And I will probably deal with that on tomorrow night. So that's not my show on tonight. Stay tuned for that one perhaps on tomorrow night as I look into some things and do some research on some things because I just don't like doing shows of that nature just off the cuff. I like to have some background to discuss that. So that way, that way, uh, I'm going to stay where I am for tonight. Thank you so much. Um, last night, we dealt with Testalonia Brown, who is the mother of one of my church members, Aja Brown, young lady with seven 
children. Of the seven children, she has a husband who has basically uh, is the father, I believe, of five of the children. When I met Asia some months ago, before she joined the church, Asia seemed to have some issues with self-esteem because she was a woman who had children and her husband really wasn't up to the task. And my message to her was, you let no one bring you down. You let no man, you, know, you let no woman diminish your capacity or your capabilities to be successful and be all of the woman or all of the man that uh, you want to be. Her and her husband are not together, uh, but he is uh, at times babysitting. Asia, some last year in 2016, was having a discussion with her 12-year-old, and Asia corrected me that the child was 11 at the time the child is 12 now. Her, Asia and her mother, who is Thessalonica Brown, Thessalonica, how come you didn't go to work today? Okay, but anyway, they talk, I heard they was talking about you on the job, but anyway. They were having a discussion and Asia and her mother, Thessalonica Brown, were angry. The 11 year old says to Asia, who is a mama, Asia is only four seven. Her daughter is five three. And as the old folk would say, she was smelling herself. So Asia and who is an adult was arguing with her mother, and her 11 year old jumps in and says, Bitch. You ain't going to talk to my mother, grandmother, like that. Ooh. Backhand licks should have been going all across the room. Dennis should have been called because she shouldn't have no teeth left in her mouth. Doctor should have been called because uh, I done got my foot implanted in this 11-year-old's ass. Doctor, can y'all come and do something to give my foot out? Some should have happened. Asia told the little girl that you, you're going to school. I ain't going to school. They got into a scuffle. How do you scuffle with an 11 year old? I don't know. And the 11 year old pulled a knife on her mama, on Asia. The, the, the Struggle ensued, and Asia cut the little girl on the finger, I think. Pure disrespect. So how do you get involved in all this? Well, I am a pastor. Asia told me about this, and Asia had a warrant out for her because she missed going. Of course, she got arrested, I think, at that time. And I had her turn herself in, and the whole process is going on. But I called Asia, I believe it was Friday, because I saw one of them whining Facebook posts. I hate to see them whining pick Facebook posts, them woe is me Facebook posts. And I, and I, and I can't understand why. Some of you act out your whole life on Facebook. But I saw her Facebook post where she was whining about she had lost her job. She had just got a job at the Waffle House. And because of this incident with the child, they did a background check and it showed up she lost a job. So she was worried about what her children were going to do for Christmas. So I called Asia, and I had two numbers in my phone. I have a guy, I had two. But one of the main numbers I had uh, for Asia, I guess was her mother's house and her mother's telephone number. And I stated to Asia, who I owned the answering machine, 
uh, Asia, don't worry, you my member. We're doing that advanced kids. I'm going to take care of your children. Don't, don't worry about it. I got you. But I'm not going to take care of that oldest. That I, I have a girl older than 12, but I'm not going to take care of her. Anytime that you can call your mama a bitch, anytime you can pull out a knife on your mama, you too damn old for Santa Claus. That's all I said. Call me. <coughs> well, apparently the mama got the message and the mother starts saying some very disparaging things to uh, Asia because South Haven had found out, see, Asia cannot have any contact with the child, which is in domestic situations is the norm. That's the norm. You can't have no, ain't no texting, no calling, no nothing. Uh, and the child was in South Haven where the other children were. And the child is living with the grandmother, with Old Testimonium. So Old Testimonium don't find out that the people in South Haven know that this child is not living in South Haven. And now the grandmother is going to have to do what she needs to do to make sure that the child is enrolled in school in Memphis City Schools. So there was a whole lot of talking about it. And then the mama, Old Testimonium, threw me in it. Tell your fag bitch ass pastor. Oh, that's what you said. Don't call my mouth my house no more. He ain't got to take care of, I think, the child named Olivia or somebody. And don't call my mom. Okay, okay. Now, as I say, don't come for me unless I sing for you. Because I don't play fair. Okay? Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. I, I don't play fair. You, if you come at me, I'm coming at you. So, I'm coming at you, Testimony. You're unfit. And let me tell you why you're unfit. And this is the reason we got the subject that we got tonight. Testimony of Brown, the mother of Asia Brown was dating a man by the name of Cecil Short. Cecil was her boyfriend. So one morning, she goes to work, and, and Adrian says that she was molested from the age of 12 to 20. Adrian says that the man molested her, ran his hands all up in that fumbling and playing with her. She calls Testalonia Brown, who's an LPN at the Graceland nursing home. She calls her and says, Mama, this man, fun, he playing with me. He, he molesting me. Still the mama getting outraged and still the mama looking for the gun, the knife, the baseball bat, all the brick to do something to Cecil Short. Her response was I should have gave him something before I left home. Here is this mama, this mother, Testalonia Brown, that works as an LPN at the Graceland Nursing Home, tells her daughter 
Ashur gave himself for them all. In other words, if I had gave himself, he would have been coming out for you. What mother does that? What decent human being? What woman of... What, uh, hell, I don't even think a crackhead mama would say that. What kind of drugs you on? Testimonial. Wait a minute. I, I just think, wait a minute. Let, let me see if I can get Asia on the phone. I... I need to hear, I see y'all need to hear Asia. Let me see. Let me make sure I call the right number. Make sure y'all can hear this on that mic. And then. Come on, Asia, answer the phone. Asia? Hey, pal. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Now, Asia. Yes, sir. I've been telling these people about your mama. Yes, sir. Tell me the story of how, what was happening with your mama and, and Cecil. The time when I was molested? Yes, tell us. Tell us how all this came into being. I was 12 years old, and my mama had to get up and go to work at 5 a.m. every morning. Uh huh. I had to walk to school. I was going to the Virginia High School. I was in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. My brother, uh, uh, actually, he used to be in the back, but uh, he used to be, he, I guess, you know, he used to be tired. Uh, when he get off work at night, you know, he was, he was sleeping. Mm -hmm. my, son, my baby, my baby girl sister, she used to stay through the day with you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes she did go to daycare. But that morning, she did go to daycare. And how old were you? I was 12. Okay. I was 12 years old. And that, it was that following, I ain't gonna never forget, it was Tuesday, it was a Tuesday morning when this, uh, when this happened. Uh-huh. She, she stayed down in the McCorkle apartments I stayed in the Rain Street. So 
something, Angel. So your mama tells you, Old Testalonia Brown, your um, mama tells you when you call her and tell her that Cecil Short is molesting you, she says, I should have gave him some? That's exactly what she said. So was, she bas was your mama basically saying that had she gave uh, Cecil some, he wouldn't have had to touch you. Basically. Yes, sir. So how did that make you feel about your mama? Well, that Friday, that Friday I had left. And I was a runaway. I didn't come back to her house. And I stayed out on the street for like two months. But I said about a month and a half. Uh, two days looking for me. But I was a runaway. this. Did it surprise you that after you told your mama, old Testalonia Brown, that this man had touched you, were you surprised that your mama allowed Cecil to come back into the house? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So did he ever touch you again? You've had a lot of issues in your life. You got seven children. Do you think that you have had as many children as you had, even though you had a whole husband, most of them? Do you uh -huh. think that you've been looking for love? That's exactly what I was doing. I was looking for somebody to, to love me because I never had experience at home. 
So you do you do you think your mama loves you at all? In a way, certain ways. What kind of ways you know, is that? Well, I, I mean, when I was on my when I was battling cancer, she was there, and that was just because you know Eddie, Eddie at the time was acting out, didn't want to keep his children, mm -hmm. and she had a, she had my children. Then you know I was taking treatment two times a week. Mm -hmm. You know, so she was around on that time, mm -hmm. uh, uh, keeping my children uh, at the time. I had four children at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's get to this because I'm not going to keep you on the phone. What happened between you and your, I think she was, she was 11 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. Your daughter, what, what you're going okay. through now? Okay. I was called on, and the police said, Miss Brown, let, let her stay with her grandma for the night, and such and such. And my mama always tried to override me when I tried to tell my children right. Mm -hmm. She always had up to sitting in of everything that I tried to tell my child right. And I had a problem with it. You know, so the time of, I, I think it was like, Every day, people order my food stamp card. 
But look, uh, Angel, take me to the part about the stabbing and the cutting. Uh-huh. And that following that following morning, my daughter was three months, I had twins, um, that was still one at the time, they was they were small, they cried all through the night. She was like, Why are the kids down and all this and that kids the other kids have to go to school in the morning. That morning, me and her got the art. She said, Quiet the child down as I'm trying to get my other children ready for school. Mm -hmm. So you you was a bitch, right? That's true. Oh yeah, I was. I, I, you was, I, a I bitch. was a bitch. Yeah, okay. I, I was that bitch. Oh. oh. <laughs> What she was acting like. Okay. 
Okay, well, I mean, because see, your story is long, Asia. But the, 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 the part, and you know, you're going through the legal thing, and I think that you're going to <clears throat> make it through that. But see, here's, here's the issue that I have in this whole issue. The issue is you were supposed to do whatever you had to do to your daughter. You you four seven she five three almost two hundred pounds. She she's thought she, yes, she okay. She thought that she could whoop you. Okay, she thought. Mm -hmm. And if you allow a child that much room, then that child is going to take it. I don't think you did nothing wrong. If I got to go to court with you, it's fine. But I do want people to know that your mama testimony your. Brown is probably some of the reasons that you've had some of the dysfunctions that you've had in your life is because it started out with your mama, old Testimonia Brown, allowing a man to molest you. Okay? That's that that's that's completely unbelievable, unconceivable. Oh Cecil short. You you ain't got no telephone number on Cecil, do you? Oh no. Okay. No, I, 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 I actually, last time I think the man, I was, I was pregnant with my daughter when I was four months pregnant, and uh, I had sex, Eddie, at the time, and Eddie was not together, mm -hmm. at the time, and he had came up to my house, and I had to, I had, at the time, I was still, you know, I was still doing the chemo with okay. her uh, okay. when I was pregnant, so he had to help me, I was sick, so when he did, he did, he helped me uh, at the time, and he, I was on my way to the doctor. This man was in these apartments. This this is totally why I lost my, my respect for my mama. I don't I don't consider of uh, anything about her that she loved me in some way and some way she don't. I, I think it's sick. It's it's very sick that a person still talks to a person that molested a child, period. You know. So when I think of my like twenty five, twenty six, he said, Hey, he said, Your mama said you stayed over. I talked to your mama last week, she said you stayed over there. So was, he, so was he looking for you? No, he wasn't looking for me. He was running around. He said, I guess he said a steak because, yeah, he was running a steak van or something. Um, he was selling. And he was going, I guess, knocking on the door from house to house and selling steaks. I guess that's what he was doing. So, and again, it completely shocked me that my mom was still in, in, in contact with this man. Well, see, your mama, your mama ain't no damn good. Now, you might as well come on and understand your mama ain't no earthly good. Okay, yeah, you, 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 you you understand, your mama don't give a damn about nobody but herself. Your mama rather have a man screwing her than taking care of her daughter, okay? Uh, I have no respect for your mama, and I hope all the people at the Graceland Nursing Home, uh, where she's LPN, understand that if she will allow this to happen to her daughter, what will she allow to happen to the patient's at that facility. Didn't you say, oh, Cecil gave uh, your mama that, that nasty woman's disease, the chlamydia? She did, he did. Yes, sir. Mm, 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 mm. Didn't you say, oh, Cecil Short, wasn't he trying to molest a 72 year old woman, too? Yeah, my, my, mom, my mom called and told me, she told me not to tell nobody. And she said that she threw completely talking to him because he had. One of my cousins that he tried her, tried to tried to sell on her and tried to, you know, tried to molest her. And my my ace don't mean my cousin pulled out a shotgun. Mm. And that's when Those old that, that, that was Miss Cooter, what Miss Cooter yeah, Triple. That, that was my cousin. That was my cousin Cooter. He, he she said if you don't get out of my house, I'm gonna blow you away. Mm. And he, he removed himself out there. And that's 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 the last time I heard anything after that. Well, so, Angel, you know I love you. You know the members of uh, Naked Truth love you, and we got you in any type of uh, situation. I'm going to make sure that those babies got what they need for uh, Christmas. I, I don't understand why your mama calling me them names, but I'm sure by now she hates that she ever called my name, period. Uh, Yeah. And you, you, and oh, you yeah. Understand that. 
I, 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 yeah. Well, I, I bet you she understands it now. Uh, like you said, she'll understand it better. But I bet you right now she understands because her name is all over the city. Her name is all over uh, the Graceland Nursing Home where she's a LPN. And you people who got your kin people in the in the Graceland, y'all need to tell the people y'all don't want uh, testimonial touching on your folk because ain't, ain't no telling what's happening. But look, baby, I'm going to let you go. You know your pastor loves you. And that we got you. You got family and naked truth. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much, baby. That's uh that's Aja Brown. Aja Brown. Damn. Yes. Damn. Yes. I wonder. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh, I didn't drop some. I'll get it in just a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello? Miss Testalonia Brown. Yes. Thaddeus Matthews. Thaddeus Matthews. Yeah, Thaddeus Matthews. The one, you know, the one you call the fag bitch in the text. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me, how is it that you could allow a man? to molest Asia. Tell me this, how could you allow, you said that you're a preacher, right? Mm -hmm. How could you not know the difference between right and wrong? What's right? Tell, tell, me, this, tell me what's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. Uh, I'm not going to call you Pastor Matthews. I'm going to call you Mr. Matthews because at this time, uh, I feel that you are Really, really out of order now. Why am I out of order? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Why, why, how am I out of order? Testimonia? Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. I'm not going to disrespect you because you're the man of the cloth. I'm not going well, to disrespect you. Just, now, you just said you wasn't going to call me pastor. Uh, okay. Well, listen to me. I'm not going to disrespect you. Mm -hmm. But I am going to say this. Mm -hmm. If you get age of Bible the right now, guess what? So, so, so let, let me ask you something. So, it's, no, 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 let, no, 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 hush, testimony, hush, hush, hush. Do you, were you in, involved with a man by the name of Cecil Short? I sure was, I sure was. Was Cecil Short, sure living, was. Was Cecil Short living with you? Cecil Short was at the time. So, no, 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 and let me, let me ask you, see, I'm, I'm, I'm good at the question again. You gotta listen to what I have to say. No, no, I ain't, I ain't gotta listen. I ain't gotta listen to you. Because you you're you're an unfit hell of a mama. You allow you, you allow a man, you allow a man to molest your daughter? You talking down for me or to whatever She ain't told you that. Okay. You're damn that. You're damn that. You did tell me that. Okay, well now you now you just try to come you just try to come up with anything. She might, she might have said I fucked you too. No, she probably did. Okay, she might have said I fucked you too. I don't know, but I would, I wouldn't fuck you with somebody else's thing. No, but I'm asking you about you, but no, baby, 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 baby. I'm too good at this. I'm too good, baby. Bitch, listen to me. Bitch, listen, miss bitch, miss bitch, listen to me. No, you allow a man to molest your daughter. Yeah, yes, you did. You, you're too upset. I ain't gonna pull no story out. Your daughter pulled the story out. The, your daughter told us. So you, you mean to tell me that your daughter would lie on you? You are unfit. You are unfit to hold an LPN license. You, you, okay. You unfit to hold an LPN license. You, you, you ever been in my church? Bitch, I curse you now. You old ass hold you. You old ass, ignorant ass, dried up bitch that's allowing somebody to screw your daughter. Bitch, yeah, I'm cussing you now. Good. Apparently your daughter ain't either. Apparently your daughter ain't either, baby. You bet we what now?
Th them your grandchildren you talking about. Okay. Okay. Them, them, see, I see, I don't, I don't, I don't give a damn about a bitch like you calling me out my name. But, but, but you, you talk, you talking about your grandchildren. And, and, so I, I still look. None of that. None of that is important. See, I'm talking about you. You. You want to talk about everything, but what I'm talking about. I want to talk to you about your man Cecil Short. I want to talk to you about your man Cecil Short. Well, bitch, man. Ignorant ass, dried up bitch, bye. Ass bitch, bitch you're a your mammy, what bitch? Look, miss bitch, miss bitch, miss bitch. You, you know what? But bitch, before I get, when I get through with you, you'll be selling your ass on Bill Street, ho. You'll be selling your ass on Bill Street, your old dried up ass, ho. You already selling it on? You already selling it? Well, damn. Okay. What, if, if that's what you want, if if that's what you want to say, and if that's what you want to say. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Ren 10 10. Ren 10 10. Ren 10 10. Bitch, you gonna lose your goddamn job. Now. Say what, bitch? Say what, bitch? Well, you gonna lose, you gonna lose, and you gonna lose your LPN license. I ain't no suffering hoe. I bet you die. Well, you, but you a hoe though. At least you, you may not be a suffering hoe, but at least you admitted you a hoe. At least you admitted your ass a hoe. You are a hoe. You are a hoe. Any woman that allows her man to screw her daughter, uh, uh, to, to screw her daughter, you a hoe. You a hoe, baby. You a hoe. You are a you are a licensed, certified hoe. Okay, bitch. Okay. Your daughter says, see, your daughter ain't got no reason to say that her mother. Yes, she, I'm telling you, dude, she's lying, man. She mad at me because I refuse to continue to take care of her mother. Yeah, she mad at me because I refuse to continue to take care of her mother. I'm not going to do it anymore, fucking mother. Okay, well, then don't. Then don't. Don't. Then don't. Then don't. Then don't. So you, so you, you telling us, you telling us that you did not allow, you didn't tell Aja I should have gave him some. But see, I saw your text about me. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'm going to apologize for you there. But see, you don't know what Asia told me. Mm. Asia said, Mom, he don't like you. I said, why the fuck he don't like me? I said, what you done told this man, Asia? Asia and I haven't had any conversations about you at all, Tessalonia Brown.
Yeah, he do. No. How do you disprove that man? Mm. Well, you know, uh, uh, he going down anyway. I said, that ain't your business, girl. She ain't said that. I ain't Mr. Man. And well, she... Mr. Matthews, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I am not a bad person. I don't know what he did. Mm-hmm. I if you allow, if you allow a man, if you allow a man... See, you saying that to get your rating, sir, and I understand that. No, I'm saying... No, I'm saying my ratings are excellent. I'm saying that... I'm saying that because your daughter says that about you. Henry Cage, if you don't like what I'm saying, get your ass off my page. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about somebody on the page. I'm hearing what she said and what she came to from our, okay? She came from our. She didn't want to say in my house that I would be less than a motherfucking one to tell my daughter and her seven babies that she can't stay in my house. Asia didn't want to stay in my house because I wouldn't allow her husband to stay in my house. Now, this man can't hold a job. He can't keep a job. For the last three fucking months, I have been taking care of her, him, and the seven babies. Out of my money. I told Angel, I said, let him go and stay with his mom down the street. She said, that's my little master Angel. I said, let that man stay with his mama until he can get a job. Angel want me to take care of him. I gave them three months in my home, sir, and I gave them my bedroom. I slept in my back, gave them. I can't take care of Angel. When Angel get mad at me, Angel does shit just like that. This is not the first time. It's not going to be the last well, time. Well, Tessalonia like Brown, Tessalonia uh-huh. Brown, let me, say yeah. this, let me say this to you. Uh-huh. Let me say this to you. She ain't got no reason to lie to me about you. My conversations, my, converse, my conversations with Asia are never about you. Uh-huh. Okay, and they should be. Uh, they should n- be. never. But no, 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 no. Let, 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 let me, let me, let me. Do what now? Why? Because her children asked me to. Her babies asked me, Grandma, go get my mama. And that's why I went and got their mama. Nobody, you, even you, you said you were a You did not put me a damn on her pill. No, you didn't. No. I, didn't, I didn't have to. I got her, I got her bond reduced. You got that You got that. You damn right. I got her bond reduced. So, so you, so what you... Don't you, don't you, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The, if, if, she, if she has done it, it ain't been done in Shepherd County. Because I pulled her record. I pulled her record. I, I, pulled, I pulled Asia's record. But here's here here but here's I don't give a damn about none of that uh Thessalonia Thessalonia all of us have done something. But my concern my my only concern with her is 
And, and Asia knows nothing about my personal life, whether I've screwed you or, or Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse or okay, any of them mouse. Okay, so uh, and, and I know a lot of folks because of the closeness that definitely and I have. She works with me and she's 100 with me with my business. She handles all my business. So I don't give a damn what folk assume and they think. Okay, now. But the thing, the thing that I am concerned about is the the allegation. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. They was doing what now? No, no. But 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 here's here's the only he didn't look look here's the only I, you know man, you wrong, man. You no no you ain't embarrassed. Then that's fine. That's your daughter. That's your daughter. And that, that's your that's your daughter. And I hope she does come and apologize. And, and, and you and you and you apologize. It, baby, it don't bother me one way or the other. That don't. That's not my concern. I would I would I would love for y'all to get together as a mama and a daughter. But 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 have it. But my 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 question my question you. Testimony because we've talked about everything else. Me and you don't cuss each other out. We don't talk about everything but Cecil. What was Cecil's relationship to you? Was he in the house with uh, Asia? Let me tell you this. Asia called me. I was at work. She called me. She said, Mom, she said, hey, uh, Cecil tried to spill over me. I left work came home. When I got home, Cecil was gone. How did you address it? How did you address it? Riding in the car with who? She in the car with Cecil. I said, Asia. I said, what the fuck are you doing in the car with him? She said, well, I was coming from the store. She said, and I got tired of walking and I saw him and I flagged him down and he brought me to the house. Ho, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let's do this, testimony. Let's do this. Let me put you and Asia on the phone at the it's same time. No, ho, ho, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let me see. Let me see if I can do this. Am I, Lord, let me see if I know how to do this. You know what? Hold on just a minute. Don't let her, don't let her know you won't. Let me talk to Hold on, hold on, Asia. Yes, sir. 
Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Now go ahead. Ms. Brown. Wait, 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 can, can, can one of y'all talk, can one of y'all talk in a time? Both of y'all, both of y'all, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Aja, 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 Aja. Aja, Aja. Excuse me. All right. All right. That's that's a Halloween. That's a Halloween match. Now, what do you have here? What you got here? See, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care nothing about cussing me out because I cuss just as well. And if I wasn't on TV, I'd go a little bit farther with what I said. But this is what the subject was going to be about. When a woman loves the D, it's better than your love for your child. I need to find out how much a lie detector test would call 
would cause. But this is what happens. See, this didn't just start. And here's the way, here's the reason I'm believing Asia more so than I'm believing Thessalonians. And I've been doing this a long time. Immediately, mom wants to get Thessalonians, wants to get defensive, and don't want to stay on the subject. She wants to talk about me and definitely. And people think what they want to think. I don't try to prove anything to anybody. Definitely don't try to prove anything to anybody. But see, Thessalonica got to remember I knew of her before I knew of Asia. Before Asia even became a member of the church. Okay? I, I, we'd already had some battles on Facebook. Concerned that's easy for you to say unless you've been in the situation. Okay? I believe that there were some issues with the man and the molest and the molestation. But I think that the whole relationship has been dysfunctional. I've spoken with Asia about her husband. And you're right, Felicia. Tessalonia did not want to speak on the issue. She wanted to talk about everything else. That's the reason she went into a custom match with me to detract the issue. Do I believe that Adria has some issues? Yes. Yeah. But if you have experience, see, Adria had no reason to even come and have a conversation with me about her mother. I left a message concerning the children. Okay. Mama gets bent out of shape because I'm saying what I'm not going to do for the child who is acting as an adult. In the time you can cuss your mama, in the time you can pick up a weapon, you're grown. You stepped into a grown woman's shoes. I said that and I meant that. But I think that there are some bigger issues that are going on. So some of you that I see that's trying to be judgmental on Facebook, if you've never walked in these shoes, if you've never walked in those shoes, then who are you to say anything? You, you, some of you are acting like you're surprised that mamas and daughters are going at each other. Sure, I, I, I would love to see Asia and her mother come together. It ain't about me. But there, there's, some, there's a lot of issues in this. If this woman, I'm talking about Asia,
has been traumatized as a child. The trauma goes on into your adult life. Many of you women right now cannot have a wholesome, healthy sexual relationship with your man or your husband right now because of some trauma that happened to you at an early age. You were formed along by your father, your stepfather, your brothers, your uncles. And it has carried itself over into the adult years. So don't sit here with your sanctimonious selves. Oh, they so wrong. They may be wrong at cussing each other. But that was hurt on both sides of the fence. And sometimes guilt will make you defenseful. Mm. Yeah, guilt. When you come to the realization that I allowed some things to happen to the door. And again, I, I, I see no reason that Asia had to tell me anything. Now, I'll say this. The father of five of those, is it five, Dale, that Eddie is the father of? If you tell me testimonial, he's still at that house. What can I say about a woman being with her husband? What? I mean, honestly, see, when, when you try to make it a point to me, let, let me share something with you, testimonial. I'm 60 years old. And I'm one of them dogs that's so played all the tricks. Do you even think that I would think that Asia, who has seven children, may not be screwing her husband? Okay. Do, do, do you think that? I've shared with Asia that a man that don't work shouldn't eat. I've shared with Asia what if I was a woman, I would put up, but I, I'm going to be the last one to tell her don't let your husband come. I do know Asia has her own place. I do know that Eddie, the husband, has been doing some babysitting. And still, at the end of the day, testimonial, whatever she needs for those children, naked truth is still prepared to do what needs to be done. Plain and simple. See, some of you, until you've walked in somebody's shoes, you ain't got no reason even making a comment about it. So, what I'm saying to you is it's a tragedy. Uh, it's a tragedy that these things are happening. 
But some of you as women, you, you've been molested. Woody Martin, this is a TV talk show. I put folks' business out there. If you don't understand that, get your ass off the page. This is a TV show. I'm in the business of making money, having ratings, and exposés. You don't send them to Jerry Springer, Steve Wilco's show, the Murray show. You don't say nothing. This is business. Okay? So if you don't understand the difference in church and business, then, brother, you're ignorant. You don't know what situations women are going through. I spent all day at Michael today making sure that a woman and her two children were off the street. When I met them the day before Thanksgiving, her husband was there. Her husband walked off and left her even while I had them in a safe haven. Did I share with her? I'm doing all of this for you. I'm making sure you're going to get your a home. I'm going to make sure you get a job. I'm going to make sure you get child care. If the man could not stay with you through the struggle, if you let your husband come back, that's your business. But when he comes back, I still love you as my member, but I have to take my hands off of doing what your husband should be doing. This is my TV show. This is not my pulpit. Sometimes I use it as my bully pulpit. But this show is about TV, it's about ratings, it's about numbers. See, I noticed when they were ranting, the numbers jump because that's what y'all like. That's what makes my money. Okay? So don't get it, don't get it twisted. I saw some cat, Henry Cage the third. Brother, you take your holier than thou self home back down to the Pentecostal temple with that madness. Because this is a TV show. I didn't ask for the information. The information comes to me. And as a TV show host, talk show host that provides entertainment information. That's what I do. Um, Agent, you don't have to prove nothing, baby. I'm still in your corner. You still my member. Whatever I can do, whatever the church can do for you, we're going to do it. But from listening to the conversation, and then doing talk radio and talk TV all of these years. I know the games that people play when they don't want to talk about the real issue. And the real issue was a conversation about Cecil and the molestation. Something she did not want to deal with. Well, I even took a commercial break. The whole... Linda... I ain't took no commercial break period ever. Let's play catch up. We'll be right back. The new commercial in there? <coughs> that was for be gone. That commercial was pool. Water? Yeah. Uh, that was pool. The f they had lost the whole lease, so. Huh? How the hell you lose the lid? When they transferred. The jail palace is not in there either now. When they went in there. And the king the king's uh king's furniture is not there either.
Hmm. You get them all out? This will be out? Yeah. I had written them, I had looked at one of them. Hmm. Those 400 views you see, Raja, are not actual numbers. The numbers come out in multiples of 10. So when this show is over, probably about six, 7,000. A lot of you as women have been molested. Juan D. Davis Turner. Bitch, fuck you. I'm professional. Bitch, I can go to the bank four or five times a day. So what the fuck you talking about? This is what I do for a living. You don't like it? Get your motherfucking ass off the goddamn page. It's just that simple. Swan D. Davis Turner. Bitch, fuck you. This is business. This is about money. How many more we got? <laughs> she bust out laughing. Huh? She said, I'm not afraid. She said, you going to take another break? You going to take another break? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Two more after this. Okay, can you bring, bring me back and then we'll go back. Huh? Bring me back after this and we'll come back in a few. Uh, maybe a little bit too late. How many we got left total? Uh, okay, 10 seconds. Okay. Five seconds. Four, three, two. And welcome back to the Thaddeus Matthew Show. You know, where this has been somewhat comical, and you probably enjoyed the custom match that went on. This is a serious issue, and this is something that is happening in our communities. And I didn't get to end the notes that I had on this for this particular show, and maybe we'll do it uh, tomorrow night. But this is business. This is a television talk show, like the ones that y'all look at the white folk doing and don't say a damn thing about this issue is happening in our society. It's happening in our culture as black folk. See, black folk don't want to talk about the dirty laundry that is going on. You don't want to talk about our young ladies being molested uh, by their fathers. You don't want to talk about our young ladies sometimes uh, and our young babies being sold to uh, men for crack and for dope. It happens in our society every day. When you hear the real story of what's really happening, then a lot of y'all want to get sanctimonious. You want to get holier than thou. You don't want to deal with the issue of what is really, 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 really going on. Okay? You, because if you don't, you don't often hear these type 
of subjects. Mother cussing daughter out, daughter cussing mama out. It happens. It happens. It happens in our households all the time. Maybe not to this particular extent, but it's some mamas cussing some daughters out, some daughters cussing their mamas out. It's some sons cussing, and in fact, we've had several killings this year of sons killing them, their fathers. It happens. All of us ain't got these good, nice families that many of y'all got. Some of the greatest hurt that a lot of people that's watching me right now that you have experienced is not from outside folk, but it's from your own blood, your own kin folk. See, y'all look at Leave It to Beaver. Y'all look at uh, The Cosby Show. But when you come down and deal with the realness of what's happening in families, everybody don't have a loving, devoted family. Hell, I don't. When it gets past my kids, I ain't. Yeah, scat little house on the prairie. I ain't got no loving family. Mm -mm. So don't so don't so don't 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 act like this is something that's brand new. Men, you can't get along because you have reached a level of success and your family don't like your success. They wanted you to remain in the projects with them. They wanted you to ride in the old hoop and the skateboard like them. They didn't want you to go out and have the picket, the white picket fence around a real house. They were envious at your success. Life is real. And sometimes the hardest folk in the world to get along with is family. Marlon, I don't need you on my show. Get your own show, bro. So, so see, some of y'all, see, some of y'all want to live with your heads in the clouds and don't want to deal with the reality of life. The issue between Asia and her mama didn't just start. Didn't just start. I listen to Asia I listen to Asia and I can hear the hurt. Yeah, Asia said and I'm her pastor. And yes, she knows her pastor can cuss. In twenty seven languages. I'm working on Portuguese right now. It's a little hard. But we ain't never had to talk about her mama. When her bond was $12,000 and I was able to make a call and get it reduced to $8,000. Yeah, just so long you paid the $800. But to hear you as a mother say, I paid it because I was tired of her mother for them, your grandchildren. Those were your grandchildren that you're speaking negative of. See, I've been doing this a long time, long time. I did talk radio longer than I've done TV.
And when somebody, in an interview, when you start taking me all around the mulberry bush and don't want to discuss what the topic is, then you you got something to hide. You don't want to talk about what I'm talking about. Marlon, we don't need to carry nothing. Just sit there and watch the show. Now, what I would hope for Adrian and her mama, that they would find a common ground. That's what Marlon, I'm tired of you. Bye. I would like to see them reach a common ground, but there's too much hurt on both sides. Both of them need some counseling. The total situation is dysfunctional. It's totally dysfunctional. But many times, parents cause the dysfunction of their children. You cause the dysfunction. If, and you admitted, Tessalonian, that Cecil Short was your man. This child was molested by a man that you were involved with at an early age. She got trauma issues. Oh, Tessa Lawyer then came on the page. She did not. Uh, you took off? No, I, I just saw it pop up. But you didn't want to talk about Cecil. You didn't want to talk about their involvement. See, the first thing that I always wonder is, why do you, as single women with children, you allow a man to live in your house over your daughters? Hmm. Why? Why do y'all bring men in over your daughters? See, that, that's what she want to talk about. You unfit as a woman when you allow a man to come in and sleep around your daughters. So I, 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 I'm, I, I'm sorry, Tessa. We had our custom match, and you were able to say some things I couldn't say. But please understand. You set a whole example, a whole example when you horn in front of your daughter. You were married, Testalonia. You were married, you had this man in the house. Tell you all on the Facebook page, I, I, apparently, Tessalonia, you on the page, were you screwing Cecil? Did you have Cecil at your house and your daughters were there? Answer that, since you're on the page. Answer that, Tessalonia. Mm. 
conversation. You you won't get yourself in this conversation on on Facebook. But you give your daughters whole examples. You sleeping with a man in your house that is not even by. Sometimes it happens when it's biologically, but that's not biologically attached to your child and your child or child and gave them that infamil and all that other stuff has developed early in life. The man really comes home not to see you. He don't give a damn whether you there or not. He comes home to look at your daughter. Your, your, your daughter is more appetizing to his eye than you are. So Tessalonians says, I, I guess you got to get what you can. Damn. Why do you as young women even allow it? Leah Surgeons, I cuss. I do. Your bishop, your elder, your apostle does too. He just phony. He ain't real with his. And I ain't got no time. See, I'm dealing with cussable situations. And with cussable situations that's going on in our world, in our society, I ain't trying to be polite. I'm not trying to be politically correct. I got to call it just like it is. Mm. No good. Then you ain't got no comment to make. Leah. See these situations. A lot of you women out there, you've been touched, molested, and fondled by men that your mama was in love with. He was laying it down. He was screwing on inside out, outside in. And she didn't want to give up the D. So she wouldn't believe the daughter or she would accept a man in the house so that she could keep the man. See, how many mothers have even known that their man was attempting to rape, molest, lay down with, do all kind of nasty things with their daughter and turn a blind eye just so the man would stay? I got to take another commercial break. We'll be back. Now see, Thessalonians says you're here. When I heard you talking about your motherfucking grandchildren, then your motherfucking grandchildren, you the grandmama, you the damn example. See, when, when, I, when I listened to your testimony, I heard guilt all in you. Hmm. I'm sorry, and that's the only way I can keep it as real. Lee, if you don't like what's here, say another dumb ass word and your ass will be banned from this page permanently. Y'all all be sick of these Negro preachers in your church with all that bullshit. But that's all some of y'all used to is bullshit. She said something about you on page. Huh? Huh? What she said?
What she said? She does get, she yeah. To, she needs to be on shield. Now, they'll beat your ass, uh, Tessalonians. Now, I just want you to know, know they will whoop your ass. Okay? They will whoop your ass. Plain and simple. And she is my bodyguard, and damn it, she does get paid well. I bet she probably make as much as you as an LPN. Mm. And see, bitch, you guilty is the reason that you want to throw everything else off, baby. You don't want to talk about the man screwing your screwing your daughter at 12 years old or trying to screw uh, your daughter. Desi, Lindsay, if you don't like what's here, go. You make your money on this hell. She make her money on this. I make my money on this too. Bitch, I ain't got to beg a bitch like you for shit. I buy hoes like you. Out the small change pocket. But messing with Tess uh, definitely will get your ass whooped. She will whoop your ass. She's well trained in ass whooping. So don't let your mouth overrule your black ass. But see, all the people on your job today were talking about you over there at the Graceland Nursing Home where you're a licensed practical nurse. You're a nurse. You are a nurse. But you allowed your boyfriend to molest your daughter. And the reason that that 11-year-old is acting up it's because she's in your presence all the time. She's living with you. So the 11 year old is acting out because see you done told that 11 years old you ain't got to do what your mama said do. Agent, it ain't too late to file charges. Who got the highest ranking? Is the LPN or the RN? I don't know. I love young girls. Well, bitch, it ain't you tussling on me. See, see this, this bitch, that wants to go everywhere but that. But see, bitch, I'll get in your ass. Please understand, I will cost you your motherfucking job. I want you to know that. I will cost you your, uh, your license. Now play with me. And I don't make empty threats. I thought the LPN was higher because it got more levels. I did. But see, tell me, see, you on the page, but I will cost you misery. You don't allow a man to molest your daughter. You just ass wipe her with, a, with another alphabet. But don't make me your enemy. Do it. Bitch, watch me work.
One more commercial after this. Okay, how much time I got left after that? You have two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes? Yes, sir. A glorified CNA. A pro professional pamper changer. This the last one? Yep, okay. last one. Like that LP and let's play nurse. I, 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 <laughs> I like that. Okay. And see, and when people don't understand relationships, they they speculate. And let me say this. And this is all due respect to deafness because Tessa Longer threw her in. Definitely works for me in hands for almost three years now. She handles all of my business, that's such a job, and she's paid very well, testimonial, to do that. Whatever your speculations are, are your speculations. Okay, and, and since I don't have to answer to nobody on the planet uh, but God, since I'm a grown ass man, I don't have to answer to anybody. I don't give a damn about your speculation. But, see, it's all right to come at me. This is what I do. But when you make speculations about Dale, who does an excellent job, she'll be asking for a raise, but she can't right now because she know I ain't got no more money to give her. Uh, you're, you're being, you were disrespectful to her with your speculations of what you want to say. Okay? Uh, I run a business. She's an asset to my business. She's an asset to my church. But come at me any kind of way that you want to. I can deal with your ratchet ass. And you're going to see how well I can come at you starting tomorrow. Okay? I just want to clear that up because I don't, I don't want to jump on the character of Delphine. And she's, all she, all she do is that laugh at, at y'all. But it's, it's unfair because her job is back there, my job is up here. So, uh, and I have the utmost respect for her and what she does for me, okay? Now, let me, let me put this in. John, the insurance guy, owner of Heritage Final Expense Insurance, has personally invited the listeners of the Thaddeus Matthew Show to chat and chew with him on December the 9th from 12 until 2 p.m. at Chow Time Buffet. He's asking all guests to arrive at 11.30 a.m. for registration. The event will begin promptly at 12 o'clock p.m. 
the lunches are for those who want to learn about protecting their family's future. Lunch is complimentary. Oh, y'all be a bunch of y'all at Chow Town. When is the night? That's Saturday. Be a bunch of y'all at Chow Town for some lunch on Saturday. The lunch is for those who want to learn about protecting their family's future. Lunch, again, is complimentary and spots are limited. Reservations are required. So if you want a free lunch and you want to learn about death benefits, uh, call 649-4738. 649-4738, 649-4738, adults only. Heritage Final Expense Insurance offers family planning and funding through Lincoln Heritage. Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company has been providing insurance since 1963. Okay, um, I hope y'all have enjoyed the show. Uh, Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the show. And there's so much of this tragedy is happening in families. And sometimes families are your worst enemies. And maybe that's a show all by itself. Thank you so much. Elder Stephen Smith is coming up next. Hope that you've enjoyed the madness and the mayhem on time. Ain't no other talk show like this on the planet. Until tomorrow evening, top of the evening to you. Bye, y'all.